today's video, we will be connecting our Raspberry Pi 4 Model B to our network through the use of Wi-Fi. And that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. So in today's video, we will continue on the previous video where we installed our Raspberry Pi by connecting our Raspberry Pi 4 to our Wi-Fi network and download our very first Python project just to make sure we are connected to the internet as well. So let's continue where we last were in the previous video. We were able to connect our Raspberry Pi through SSH and login by using the username Pi and password Raspberry. Now let's try to connect our Raspberry Pi to our router and then try to download a Python project to check whether everything is ready for use. I'll show you two ways of connecting to a certain router. First, and easy one, type in sudo raspi config and press enter. Then select network options and then Wi-Fi. Select your country you are from, uh, then your SSID, Falcon. Now your passphrase. All right, that should have been updated. Now press the arrow key to your right to be able to select finish and press enter. Before the Raspberry Pi can connect to our router, we first have to reboot the Pi. We do this by typing in sudo reboot dash h now, and you'll get an error saying server unexpectedly closed network connection. Now wait for your Raspberry Pi to reboot and try to connect with Putty again. Now right click right here and press restart session and enter your credentials. And once logged, we can quickly check whether we have internet connection by typing ping 8.8.8. And as you can see, I'm getting a response. Uh, this exact uh, IP address stands for Google. And if you are receiving the same response as me, you're connected to the internet. But wait, before you go, you might want to set up a second router connection in case one fails or you want to alter the file manually or you just want to use the more nerdy way of connecting to your Wi-Fi network like I do. First, start by typing Ctrl plus C to stop your Pi from continuously pinging to Google. Now you probably are in the wrong directory. We can check this by typing ls, meaning list whatever is in the directory and in my case it says magpy and python test. This isn't where we want to be, so type in cd dot dot to change your directory and go back one and let's repeat this process now let's type in again ls and now we see much more directories we actually want to go in the etc directory so type in cd change the directory to etc enter now we are in the etc directory then type in cd wpa and you can press tab to get the full name of the directory and type enter Inside this directory, there is a file which contains the Wi-Fi settings for this Raspberry Pi. To open and alter this file, type in sudo nano wpa and again press tab. And you should be able to see the settings from your set SSID and password. Now you're able to easily alter this file to something, you, something else. And if you want to add a second network, just in case your Pi loses connection to this router, you can simply copy the above network. And now for the last one, uh, to even identify which uh, network is which, you can give it an ID like ID underscore str equals to, and then uh, school underscore network, for example. Now to save this setting, uh, you can type uh, control plus, uh, you can hold control plus X and then type Y to confirm. And now press enter to confirm this name and your settings should have been updated. Now you can reboot again, but since my connection was already working, I quickly want to make sure Git and Python have been installed by typing sudo apt get install get, I mean git, and it will be checking. And like you can see, it says uh, git is already the newest version, so it's all, it has all, already been installed. Once this is done, we'll do python sudo apt get install python now we have to go back you do this by typing uh, change directory and then space slash and it'll move us uh, back to the original now we can type ls and you'll see we're back in this uh, directory type change directory to home 
uh, ls change that by ls and then we have a uh, mac by python test now let's make a directory by typing mk dir make directory python git and now type ls and you'll see we have created it uh, the file python git now change directory to python git and now we're inside the uh, directory and type in git clone and uh, press uh, and copy in the link uh, that's down in the description down below uh, you can paste in the link into putty by clicking on the right mouse button press enter okay it's already done type ls you'll see there has been created a new directory let's open this directory again ls and now we have a hello world python script uh, we can start this by typing python hello world .py to run this easy program like so and as you can see the program will say hello world if you want me to continue on this series please let me know in the comments down below and if you don't have a raspberry pi 4 yet then there should be a link in the description down below please consider checking out my patreon page as well that would be awesome there I upload all of my codes with in-depth explanation of each video I created on this channel. Link for that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.